Namaste. Thank you for joining us today. I wish we could be together in person, enjoying the sights and sounds of Delhi, and I'm looking forward to when we can do that again. Today, together with Thomas and the rest of our cloud team, we are proud to launch our Delhi NCR cloud region. This is our second cloud region in India. It'll help businesses of all sizes solve complex challenges while using reliable and secure cloud technology even closer to home. That includes companies such as HDFC Bank who are using Google Cloud for scale and operational resilience, and ShareChat, which is harnessing Google Cloud to better serve their customers across 15 different Indian languages. We see so much opportunity ahead as the world reimagines how we live and work. I look forward to seeing how the country's businesses and institutions will use the power of cloud to build the future of India and beyond. Thank you. Hello to everyone joining us from New Delhi and across India. It's an honor to be with you today. Google Cloud is firmly committed to supporting India's business and economic recovery. A central piece of this is providing cloud infrastructure and technologies to support the digitization of organizations of all sizes and at scale. With that, it's my honor to announce the opening of our Google Cloud region in Delhi NCR. This is our second region in India, and we're expanding our local infrastructure in response to customer demand since opening a Mumbai cloud region back in 2017. Delhi NCR is also our 10th region in Asia Pacific and our 26th region globally. I am proud to announce that our Delhi NCR region is now live. And it's now my pleasure to welcome TCS CEO Rajesh Gopinathan to join us during this launch event. Rajesh, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, do you want to share a little bit some of the insights you're seeing and some of the you know, anecdotes you're seeing from the work with our joint clients? Absolutely, Thomas. When you think back about the, uh, the pandemic, I think the, the biggest takeaway for us has been that uh, the sheer resilience and adaptability of our people and uh, organizations was uh, quite amazing. And uh, that is something that has always stayed with me as the biggest insight. And there's no doubt that cloud was a key cornerstone and a pillar on which this resilience was built. And uh, it has had multiple waves, if I may say so. The initial response was, of course, to enable digital collaboration. And uh, TCS itself led the way with what we called our secure borderless workspaces 
to create a secure, monitorable, verifiable, enterprise-grade uh, remote working operating model. And we saw that adoption across multiple clients. But what has been even more encouraging is the nature of cloud adoption has rapidly moved beyond just digital collaboration and uh, uh, infrastructure hosted solutions. We are seeing a, a multi-horizon kind of an adoption cycle across our customers with Horizon 2 being about leveraging native capabilities. Google Cloud's leading capabilities enable customers to enhance the value of their SAP systems and data. SAP customers such as Wipro, Rastomi and Chia Infra Projects Limited in India are embracing digital transformation at speed and scale. And they have accelerated their move to S4HANA running on Google Cloud. Our mission at Google is to make the internet helpful for a billion Indians and empower India to become a leading digital economy. India's digital transformation journey and ecosystem is hugely inspiring for us. And we are investing in partnering deeply with Indian companies to shape our digital future that will benefit everyone. The pandemic is seriously disrupting lives, livelihoods and organizations. Companies are navigating the crisis by building resilient and digitally enabled business models. Many customers and partners that I speak to are reinventing their strategies based on plans they drew up during the pandemic. This pandemic has forced everyone to basically adopt to new ways of working in just a matter of few weeks. You know, uh, you don't need people in a room. Everyone has to basically do a documentation or basically do their work, assuming that nobody is going to be there in that room with them while they're working. So uh, in that sense, I think it has really transformed how we are working with our uh, team together. You know, there is a very increased level of collaboration, smoothing of all the process, uh, top-notch documentation where you have to really not leave anything for guesswork for another person, you know, so that they can quickly read it and start from there. The banks also should see this as an opportunity because what I see is that uh, this pandemic has just accelerated that, that, that push to the digitization. And that, that means getting on to the new set of technologies, new set of platforms, because frankly, uh, banking world is coming off a legacy, uh, you know, uh, uh, edifice, so to say. And it's, it's important to make that transition, uh, you know, in a, at a rapid rate. So first focus area for us is to, you know, digitize uh, the customer journeys and employee journeys equally because employees also are sitting at home. Second is better use of data that earlier we were ne not necessarily forced to use data. Third is where the cloud comes in is accelerating the stack and building open stack because increasingly this journey is partnership oriented. And fourth is to me, cyber, uh, cyber security and data privacy. On one hand, your businesses are disrupted. So a typical business model says, well, you know, put your hatchets down, you know, conserve your capital, you know, let, ride out the crisis. On the other hand, as we said, because of the need for greater empathy, the need for better understanding, you must in, invest to reinvent, which comes out of the fact that, you know, how do you lay out a long-term strategy that your stakeholders can understand as to why you are unleashing a level of capital investment when old wisdom would have said, hunker down and put your hatchet down. This is a step in the direction to fulfill Google's mission to make the internet helpful for a billion Indians and empowering India to become a leading digital economy. We launched our first region over four years back in Mumbai and that has seen amazing growth. And we're very proud about our new cloud region in Delhi NCR. In India, we offer all the services depicted here across compute, storage, network, security management, DevOps, API management, etc. At Google Cloud, we do our part to help you protect your most sensitive content and data by offering comprehensive data protection, identity management, network security, and threat detection and response capabilities. Good morning. I'm glad to be part of this launch moment where we are revealing the second cloud region in India. Google has been at the forefront of a lot of technology revolution in the developed markets and also in India and the center of all our innovation 
has been around the cloud. The Google Cloud India Development Center is testimony to the tremendous engineering talent that exists in India. With a large number of engineering graduates, together with the second largest developer community in the world, and the presence of GSIs and multiple ISVs, the potential for innovation in India is unlimited. Today, we are witnessing the transformational powers of the cloud, and we are seeing its potential to benefit one and all. With the power of cloud computing, advanced analytics, and AI tools, we can now harness this data and unlock insights like never before and use this power to democratize access and information across almost all industry sectors. We're excited to be a part of the future of India. Namaste India, and let's get solving.